Hey guys, signing up to Elder Scrolls Online. So at the end of the uh, last video, I was talking about dumping some stuff from my inventory. So I noticed that I've got enough stuff to upgrade some stuff. Hold on, let me just see what I've <laughs> I'm doing here. So improvement, right? I just uh, get my weapon. So I can if I take off my weapon. So next to the. Uh, the crafting thing. This is the uh, creation improvement. So you have, well, I have the iron sword, right? And then down here it says tempest chart, normal uh, honing stone goes up to fine, and then goes through dwarven oil to superior, and then grain solvent to epic, and then tempering alloy to legendary. So if we have these items, we can improve the stuff, and I do. So here's the iron sword. The problem is there's a chance on it, right? So if I Use all five, then it's a hundred percent chance, then I'll get it up to a fine quality. And it adds five damage Damn. to it. Which is pretty good. Five damage is pretty good. So you have a hundred percent chance to improve the sword. If this attempt fa if this attempt fails, Iron Sword will be destroyed in the process. So if you're a gambling man, then I guess you would um not use all five. I'm just gonna use all five just to be safe. It's not like this sword is worth anything, I can just make another sword actually. I'm wondering if I, should, if I should gamble or not. Let's not gamble. But uh, I guess you can do the math yourself. So now I have a fine quality iron sword. Look at that. I do not have any dwarven oil. I do not have any grain solvents. And I do not have any tempering alloy. So I can't upgrade this stuff anymore. You can use the same uh, honing stone to upgrade your armor as well. So it's actually possible to get much better equipments than what I have now, basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, let's put that on, good. So now I've got 5 more damage, hopefully that's going to be useful. Let me just check my skills again, I, I swear my skills didn't move at all. Create items using- yeah, my, my skills have not changed at all. Uh, let me just buy some obsidian. And just make a few things, hey. No one keeps their forges hot as a varnish. All right, all right, all right. Blah, 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 blah. To the heart of Ash blah, 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 blah. Fire Where's your store? Strong. Oh no, don't You're glitch. welcome to work. Please don't glitch. Please don't. No store. Where's your store, bro? Talk to him. Only the finest merchandise. Did I just lose connection? I just got dropped, didn't I? An unknown error has occurred. Alright, I'm gonna pause the recording. I'll be back when we're back inside the game. Hmm. If you read the chat, look at that. Other people are also saying that they're getting kicked out every two minutes. So it's not just me. Apparently there's something wrong with the server. Um, I might have to delay this recording session until later then. That sucks. Let's talk to the blacksmith. No one keeps their forges hot as a varney. Let's buy we'll have to journey to the heart of Ash Mountain to find a fire. Some obsidian. Spot. You're welcome to work. If and then repair ore. And I can't buy any more. We might have crashed out Hello. again. I've got one obsidian. Or maybe I didn't. I've got six obsidian. Okay, I lagged. And I bought six obsidian. Cool. So what I think I want to do is... Whoa. Okay, there's some serious, serious lag going on here. There's something really not right with their server. Because I can't really use the blacksmith station. Um, what I think I'll do is I'll just make stuff. So let's say for example I make a sword. I make the best sword I can. Actually, why don't I just make the next level of equipment? I mean, I, I want to train up my blacksmithing, and I can't use it yet. But I will be able to. I will be able to use it soon enough, right? So let's go craft a level eight sword. Actually, the level eight sword isn't as good as what I just had. What is it? Let me just see this. Twenty-three, twenty-two. Okay, never mind. I don't really want the level 8 sword. Can I <laughs> extract that back? Sorry, my bad. What I want to do is get the level 8 armor, is what I want. 
Alright, extract, get two iron ingots back. Awesome, waste some money. So let's make the uh, level 8 armor. So I can train up some blacksmithing. Alright, craft. That. That moves up so slowly, look at that. You have to make so much stuff to level up that skill. That is crazy. Alright, gauntlets. Level 8 gauntlets. And then... Level 8 helm. It's gonna take me forever to level up that, that skill. Uh, level 8 greaves. And then I need two more obsidian. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get two more obsidian. No one keeps their forge as hot as Avani. You'd have to journey to the heart of Ash Mountain to find a fire this strong. You're welcome to work, if you think you can handle it. I mean, basically, in order to really train up your crafting skills, you would have to be making stuff for other people or just junking it and wasting the money and materials because there's really no way to just you know, to, to train up the skill if you're just making stuff for yourself. I made a full set of armor, right? I need to make five more sets or six more sets of the same thing that I've just made just to level up to the next level of skill. So, I mean, basically, I would want to... Okay, so, oh, I see, so there's like six skills. And making one set for myself is like one sixth of a. So I mean, you'd want to focus on one thing, and then kind of trade with other people because, you know, like these skills take so much time to level up that it makes more sense that way, wouldn't it? Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Like, if making a whole set of armor for yourself trains up your skill one sixth of of a level, then just find six other people. And then each one of you can focus on one of these, you know, or five other people, and then each one can focus on one of these, and then you just, you just split your, your loot and just kind of trade. Maybe that's the logic, but I, I don't, I'm not sure I, I think that's a good idea. That, like, this seems to take too long to level up. It might make more sense. Anyway, let's go get these skills. I mean, Bethesda wants me to train this, this skill up to level 10, but uh, it's probably going to take me forever. Uh, do I feel satisfied? Kind of. Uh, are the controls intuitive? Enough. Too many choices? No. Improve my abilities? I don't. Yeah, I didn't. My, my abilities didn't improve. <laughs> it, uh, kind of not that enthusiastic. It just levels up so slowly. Okay, so getting back to um, what we're supposed to be doing. Actually, that's that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. Now I just need two more levels. Let's talk to Garwin. Garen. Garn? Garwin? Garin? Indoro. These dark elves and their names. Why can't they just have names like Bob? Or Joe? Or Ben? You know, something easy. Okay, that's some elf. Find spectral slaves. Where's Garn Indoro? He's probably in the other direction. No, I don't see him. Fine, no, I don't I don't see Hold on. American AF nope. That way. That way? Oh behind the uh behind the spectral slaves. Okay, well if we're going behind the spectral slaves we might want to try that again. Because we have to find one more spectral slave. And maybe what I'll do is just take it a bit more slowly and wait for the wait for the uh, the NPCs to load in. Just in case, just because the uh, the NPC wasn't loaded in, that's why I didn't find the last slave. That's possible. So maybe I just wait a little bit. Strife swarm hive, and then there's like a strife swarm quama mine. Interesting. All right, well, let's find one more slave, since we've almost finished this quest. 
I'm, I can't even draw my sword. I'm lagging fairly severely. Evidently. Ah, uh, this might not be a good idea. Getting into combat when I can't draw my weapon because there's too much lag. Yeah, something is not right with the server. Something is seriously not right with the server. I might actually have to wait. Or maybe the server will just... Well, I mean, the chat is moving. So... I'm not completely disconnected. I don't know. I don't... And we're out. Alright. Uh, should I keep trying, or should I wait a few hours? A message rate limit was hit. Okay. Sometimes that happens when it's when there's latency. Let's let's try this again. Okay, I think Bethesda just restarted their servers, cause you know we just got a few minutes of not being able to log in. And then now it's okay again. It is the weekend. We are definitely getting into uh, Saturday and Sunday all around the world. Yeah, Saturday night, you can see in the uh, chat. And Bethesda is stress testing their server. And uh, it's definitely being stressed right now. Well, we can get our sword out. Oh, here, look, a spectral slave. Do I have to fight him? Well, that's good. So now everything seems to be working quite good for me. I think it means that. What are you doing? Thank you. I think it means that a lot of people got disconnected. I think that's what's going on. Uh, but that's fine by me. There's a guy over here. What's going on here? Oh look, there's a camp here. All the stuff that wasn't loading for me before is loading now. Good. Where in oblivion did these things come from? Keep it short, stranger. I've got a skeever's nest of problems on my hands. Okay. Problem? I've got a battlefield full of ghosts. Sprung out of the ground like corn in the month of mid-year. They killed those covenant bastards, which is great. But how do you kill what's already dead? My mages can't even agree on what to do. I've known Furan and Risa for a while now. I respect them both. I just need to know which of them has the better idea. Start with Furan, then talk to Risa. Hear them out and do what they ask of you. When you've decided what's best, let me know. You want me to decide? I'll be honest. I wasn't sure what I was going to do out here. Thank you. You want me to decide what to do with your war? And that bird is terrifying. What is that thing? You want me to decide how you conduct your war? What? T today Of all days? What was it about today that made these spirits become so restless? Ah, greetings. Yes, I was just thinking about the situation here. These spirits make up an ancient army of Kaima warriors. Blade masters from the time before Red Mountain. It's fascinating to observe ancestors so closely. My brother's plan, actually. Giron believes we can control the dead, harness them in a powerful defense for the Watch. His method must be tested before we attempt a larger ritual. Control the dead? That usually doesn't turn out well. Hmm. Take this smoky pendant and use it on one of the ancient dead. You may have to weaken it a bit first. If it binds a spirit, bring both back to me. If it doesn't, well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. That doesn't sound like a very good plan, bro. Uh, please, please, server, please let me let me accept the quest, server, please. Ah, uh, looks like the game. Oh no, here we go. All right. A little bit of latency never hurt anyone, apparently. Now I need to 
Oh wait, hey. no, I can't draw my sword again. Yeah, the server is having some serious issues. I'm I'm seriously thinking I might just leave the recording for a bit and come back later. Well, that's a shame. That's a real shame. I can come back in a few hours. There's really no point doing anything now because I can't do anything with this latency. Except maybe just jump in the lava and die. Oh no. Is it responding? Nope. No, it's not responding. I mean, there's a spectral... Yeah, gone. Disconnected. Okay, so... The, the server mass test is clearly... Thoroughly testing the servers. So... I guess I'll leave it for a few hours. And, uh... Congratulate Bethesda on... Testing their servers to the limit. <laughs> well, I mean, of course, the good thing is that they're doing this now and not after the game is released, right? Hopefully, they fix all this stuff by the, by the time the game's released. I'll be back when the servers are back, maybe. All right, so it's an hour and a half later, or thereabouts. Let's see if the uh, server lag issues have been resolved, or rather, let's wait until. I can move, and then see if the server lag issues have been resolved. Um, uh, like a lot of other people seem to have had the problem of you know, the, the server lagging and then kicking people out. I just saw on Twitter a lot of people complaining about it. Although maybe not everybody was affected by that, I'm not sure. Anyway, we're still loading in slowly. Uh, hey look, it's the two moons of Tamriel. Ah. Oh, there you go, this seems pretty responsive. Um, right, back to this. Use the pendant on a weakened spirit. Um, okay, you, you. Here, get weakened. So I've hit him a few times. Block a little bit, it's a bit laggy. It is a bit laggy. New smoky pendant. Talk to Furon Ri. Oh look, he's following me now. Hey guys, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a spirit following me. How do you guys feel about this? Look at this guy. Seems like a pretty cool guy. Ah, you brought a spectral friend. Nicely done. Just so. It proves we can force these spirits to guard Darvon's watch. A potent defense from any future siege. Giron has a plan for repeating this ritual on a larger scale. Well, for one, I'm not sure if the plan actually scales up very well, and two, don't doesn't necromancy usually have unintended side effects? A word with you. Over here. Oh, well. Away from the brothers. Alright, the spirit's gone. Oh, hi. Hello. Please, talk with me. What the Re brothers' plan is wrong. Is this Argonian dressed really uh, provocatively? She is. I can't tell if those are scales or if that's more... That's her clothing. I think those are her scales. I think she's almost naked. Interesting. Enslaving the dead is evil. Furan does not understand this. As for Giron, I think he does not care. There is a better way. Just so. Take this talisman, use it, and learn how to free a spirit. They will cling to this world, so first you must weaken them. When you have done this, speak to me again. Okay. So now we have to use a talisman on a weakened spirit. Hello. A little bit of deja vu, and I'm guessing this time we will release the spirit instead of enslaving it. I just want to find one nearby, so I don't have to walk in and get surrounded by enemies. Doesn't seem to be any nearby though, does there? Let's go for this guy. Oh no, there's another guy behind here. Alright, let's go for this guy. Spectral assassin. Assassinate this fool. I was done. Uh, what happens to her? A flash of light and she's gone. Okay, well, 
that went pretty much as we expected. What do you guys think? Damn. Enslave them or release them? As I said, I, I'm pretty sure that necromancy usually has uh, some pretty bad side effects. Come on, hey, talk. I can feel it. The talisman has been used. It was. Spirits are not meant to be trapped. Furan wants to enslave them through magic, but that's torture to the dead. Freeing these spirits is the right path. Well, the spirits don't want to be bound, so we won't bind them. Oh, hey, what are you guys? What are you doing? What are you doing, though? Right, bye. I need a solution. Stabbing spirits gets us nowhere. Any ideas? Well, it's all beyond me. I'm just another sword swinger. What should we do? You should set them free. Well, maybe enslaving their dead's not the best idea. That Scaleback sees the world differently. But she's seldom wrong. Let Risa know. She'll tell you the rest. Okay. Talk to Risa. Hi, Risa. Risa, talk to me. Stop lagging and talk to me. A word with you. You made the right decision. By freeing their commanders. Where they go, their men will follow. The cracks in the earth have uncovered relics of the past. Search for relics belonging to the Chimer General and his captains. Then we can wrest their attention from the past. The dead have spoken to me like whispers on the wind. Their leader is a powerful Murr named Red Rathrin. He was accompanied by his most loyal soldiers, two women named Adrana and Risari. Relics of their service should be perfect for the ritual. I will meet you at a nearby Daedric ruin. It's the perfect space to complete the ritual. Find me there, with the relics, and we will return these dead men to their rest. That sounds really complicated. Okay, I need three relics. Probably have to fight three bosses. And then I have to take them to a Daedric Ruin. Wow, hey, okay. Well, no time like the present. A word with you. Unless the enemies are too powerful, in which case no time like later. Okay, this. A few of them. How many of them are there? One, two. Can I maybe just sneak past them? Nope. Uh, uh, the mage is probably the more dangerous one. Blaze. Mage, no, don't set me a blaze. What are you talking about? No, no blazes. All right, mage is gone. And rock this guy. I am getting owned by something. Uh, why is the spectral warrior not fighting me anymore? Never mind. Examine the mound. Take the charm. Walk away. All right. Well, that's one. Actually, we can talk to the uh, the Argonian here too. The one who asked me to save the other spirits. Where is she? Hi. The smell of brimstone is strong in my nostrils. Even as a spirit, this place smells of ash and death. Have you done as I asked? Yes, I have. You are very kind. Strangely kind for a place like the Ashlands. I stand here, tasting the air. And do you know what I've learned? Uh, no. You seem surprisingly lucid for a ghost, though. The Saxony you saved, the Argonians, they are not the only oh, ones no. in danger. This pact forged in the wake of war is fragile. So fragile. Remember the history of violence against my people, and treat them well as you walk the river's edge. Hmm. Well, I've played Skyrim, and I remember in Skyrim, in the distant future, your people does get some revenge on the Dark Elves, so um, you can look forward to that in a few thousand years or so. My brethren are safe. 
and the Ashlands bubble with hope. I pass now down the river to swim in the currents of Aetherius. Go well in your own passage, traveler. You know, I kind of like Argonians. Is that weird? I kind of like Argonians. I think I'll stay moist. Do I feel heroic? Release the fuel spirit. Not sure how heroic I am. Effective? Yes. Good reasons? Yes. Satisfied? Yes. I'm enjoying the game? Yes. I care about NPCs? Yes, I do. I like Argonians. Immersed in the game? Yes. Okay, let's go back to what we were doing earlier, which is... Trying to get a few artifacts. Can I climb here? Yes. Yeah, this is... Is that guy running away? Let me just help this person a little bit. That is... If this person is even here, this person just left. Alright, well, I'm just gonna take the uh, stuff from the mound. Why do you defile the dead? Because I need to release you guys, alright? Just, just chill out and... Let me do this. Um... Talk to Gan... Wait a minute. There's one more artifact. Collect the relics. Oh, there? There. Okay, don't know. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not here. You can't see me. Okay, bye. So the last relic is... Okay, back in this camp, I see. Let's come over here. Let's see if we can... Do -do 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 -do. Oh, look, a mound of dirt on the ground. And... Fear the fury of the unliving. No, bye, no, no unliving, no, 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 run away. Nope, nope, not dealing with you. Okay, so the quest now wants me to go to those Daedric ruins there. Is he on fire? Interesting. I think he just jumped in the fire. Um, let's go up here from behind. Try not to walk into the lava. And, uh... Okay, there's enemies there. Can I just avoid... <laughs> I'm really just avoiding everybody. I don't think I get any experience, though. Let's see if we can put these spirits to rest. For... Oh, there's the general. Did that guy just run away? I think I just gotta just run away. Ah, uh, he just knocked me back, I think. No, man. Yeah. Get rocked. Ah, uh, hi. Pure rains make sweet rivers. Your wisdom is your strength. Pure rains make sweet rivers. How is that relevant to our current situation? Pure rains make sweet rivers. I don't, I don't, know, what, I don't know what it means. What does that mean, Rissia? Their leaders have moved beyond. Risa, May my they bad. find peace. For now, the rest remain like moths. They're no threat to the living, but they'll soon follow. You sacrificed power to give the dead peace. This was not an easy choice. Your kindness means there's hope. I think it's up to me and my assistants to give back. Okay. We want to bestow a unique gift to this battlefield, a sacrifice to allow plants and trees to grow again. Even a dry swamp regrows after many rains. Okay. I will explain in time. For now, go to the Kwama chamber east of here and find the mushroom called Kwama Cap. I must speak with my students. I will meet you there. She wants Kwama. Now she wants Kwama. Look at these guys. Do they need help? Probably not. Let me just throw some rocks. Yeah, there you go. Throw a rock. I think they're doing pretty well. Let me just step back away from the uh, from the fun a little bit. Climb some steps. Come back here. Fool! You don't have the power to compel me. Uh, level up. With level up, I felt I improved my abilities. I mean, a little bit. I, I want to level up a little bit faster though. I have many interesting choices. Maybe too interesting. And too many. I'm enjoying the game, yeah? I'm a heroic. Just recently, yes. I feel like these um 
I'm really I'm really connecting with these Argonians. Does that make sense? I dominate. Well, I got new equipment just now. This sword seems to be doing quite well. Remember we upgraded the sword? Enthusiastic? Yeah. Quest complete. Heroic? Yeah, effective, yeah. Good reasons, yeah. Satisfied, yeah. Enjoying the game, yep. I care about them, yep. Immerse. Hey. I really, really like Argonians. Is that weird? Maybe it is. Let me just check my um, stats and character sheet. Alright, more stamina for now. And then I have one skill point. Crafting, blacksmithing. Okay, racial guild. Major's guild gives me... Uh, I don't want that though. Fighter's guild, I can't unlock anything. Undaunted, I don't really want the blood altar. Heavy armor? No, I can't do anything there yet. Sword and shield. Fortress? I have that already, my bad. Puncture. Reduces target's armor and taunts target. Deals more damage. Snares target 60%. Reduces target's weapon damage. Maybe I'll do low slash. So basically just cut someone's balls off. That is probably a good thing. Alright. Let's get this low slash a go. Unlock. Ah, uh, the fiery grip. I see other people do this. They, they pull enemy towards them. I don't. I haven't used it really at all. Let me just switch that with that. Low slash. Basically, it. I guess it stuns them or it, it slows them and then reduces their weapon damage. Okay, that seems reasonable. Uh, but you'll notice it's just kind of damage or damage or damage. Like it's just three types of damage on those skills. I don't feel like they're that different. Like you know, I don't know if there's like a, a class thing. I mean. You think that, you know, usually with RPGs you have like, either you, you might be uh, somebody who does kind of, you know, a lot of damage, or you might be somebody who um, disables people, or you know, there, there, there should be kind of clear differences, I think. I remember when I'd hunt here for days and not see a soul. The war was on, and people stayed behind walls or stuck to roads. Those days are behind us. Okay. Like I said, I was hunting. But now that the volcano's erupted, I'm headed to Deshawn. Don't want to get cooked. I'll be leaving as soon as my switch of a partner shows up. You haven't run into an Argonian named Stans in Stillwater, have you? He's a good friend, but he never shuts up. Nothing still about him. He was supposed to meet me here, but I've waited too long already. If you're heading north of Ash Mountain, can you keep an eye out for him? He should have a camp up there. Thanks. Not many willing to help these days, especially a dusty Ashlander like me. We'd planned to rest up at the Davanus' farm near Craigimore before passing through the Deshawn Gate. He should know it. You don't sound like an Ashlander. I think maybe the uh, the voice acting is not finalized yet. That's right. Though in truth, I have no clan. I make my living hunting and trading. Stillwater and I try to keep to the wilds and stay out of the way. They're alive and well. But that's a longer story that I don't have time for. Stillwater is a bit of an outcast himself. He escaped House Drez as a slave before the pact was signed. I think that's why we've stuck together for so long. You sound British. You don't sound Ashlander. Does that make me racist to point that out? I don't know. Okay, so uh, I am stuck on the oh, there's rocks. Kwama Nest is there. There's a way shrine there, and then there's a town there. Should I go for the ray way shrine? Maybe I should. I haven't really. U I haven't used way shrines at all, have I? They are quite useful. What is that? Oh, that's a bird. Okay, never mind. Uh, there's a quest right there, apparently. The hearts of Dunmer are as dry as their land. Stranger, you've picked a bad time to visit Seni. The volcano's burning up the town. You'd think these thick-headed louts would accept some help. These pissant Dunmer. I know an Argonian named Softscale who can make a salve to soothe the injured, 
but Spellwright Gervis won't work with him or any Argonian. Racist. Because he's the most stubborn creature you'll ever meet. He needs to see these Argonians are on his side. If you want to help, Softscale needs Shulk Chitin for a salve. Kill them, and take the Chitin to the Argonian. He's somewhere in town. Once you've got the Chitin, look for Softscale in the temple. Bad blood. I thought everyone knew that. Back before the Ebonheart Pact was formed, Dark Elves enslaved Argonians. They raided the Black Marsh and brought the captives up here to work. Sure, but the bigger problem is the Dunmer. They used to be lords and masters until the pact was formed. Now, all of a sudden, the Argonians are free and everyone is equal. Ha! <laughs> Spoken like a courtier. You know, just saying everyone is friends doesn't make it so. Forming the pact was a battle, and there are still many sides to it. I'm surprised the Nords are okay about it. Didn't the Nords fight the Dunmar a lot as well? Anyway, Shulk Beetles, apparently. Hi. Ah, uh, I'm gonna burn. Let me just step aside a little bit. Shulk Chitin? I need... five more. Ah, uh, this thing's level 7. Should be careful. It's got a pretty predictable attack though, you see that? Like it just kind of sets you on fire, but then you can just sidestep it. This might be the most interesting enemy I've seen. Oh crap, what are you doing? Wow, hey, fire everywhere. Have a rock. This might be the most interesting enemy I've faced in this game so far. Uh, I'm also lagging. Hopefully I'm still alive when I stop lagging. That's not guaranteed. So this is my computer's fault, I think. I hope there's not some serious desynchronization with the audio. Uh, unfortunately, I'm almost dead now because of that. I am almost dead now because of that. Alright, throw a rock. Nope! How did I die? Oh, other things? Nearest way we shrine, alright. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Uh, is that the town? Yes. Alright, well, let's go back. In other news, we found the way shrine. <laughs> it's on the hill. Yeah, that wasn't very good, was it? One reason why you should not play multiplayer games on a crappy computer. And the thing's gone too, like the body's not even here anymore. Alright, well we can go back to uh, fighting. I mean, we can just steal this guy's kill or something. Not really. Did I do any damage to it? Okay, I didn't get anything from it. Nice. Alright, that's three. Maybe I can follow him around and we can... just get stuff. Oh, there it is. That's the one that killed me earlier. Or I hey. killed it. I don't know who killed who before, but anyway, we got that. Just stay behind it. Interestingly, it works. Like the the you stay behind it, it actually helps you a little bit. That's good. What is that woman doing? Running around. And I will just stay behind it while it sprays fire. How is it? In? Oh, soft scale is down there. The Kwama nest is there. Okay, let's just talk to soft scale since we're here. 
You know, you guys should probably leave this village since it's underneath lava now. This sort of thing is not good for your town. Hi, guys. You are not of Seni. Your scales bear stains of soot, and you smell of smoke and flame. What brings you here? I offer my gratitude. Please, wait. I'll make a poultice to soothe the burns of the injured. I'll need you to use it on them. The Dunmer don't trust Argonians, especially me and my egg sister walks in ash. They fear we'll harm them. You are a stranger, so they may let you heal their wounds. There is more. When you are done, go to spell right, Gervis. Let him know we made this salve to help. Perhaps he will see we are not his enemy. What if the salve is actually a poison and everybody dies? Dun dun dun. Alright. Let's just catch some of these people running around. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, no, I'm not running that way. Never mind. Never mind. You keep running. You keep running. I'm not chasing after Hello you. Hello there. Use shock posters. That feels better. Did an Argonian make this? Yes. It's not poison? Oh, that's good. It's not poison, guys. So... Do I really have to chase after those people? I do, don't I? They're all running inside. Whoa, hey. Hey, giant beetles. Are they actually... Hello. Oh. How do I use this stuff if they just run past? Heal peasants. And then once I get here, they're not running past anymore. These people, man. They have a rock. Am I helping? Am I helping? Wow, that guy's getting owned. <laughs> He's being chased by three beetles at the same time. Uh, almost made it. Almost made it. Close enough. That feels better. All right. Did the Argonian make this? Yes, yes, he did. Hey, the Argonian made this. There's a beetle behind me. An Argonian me. savage, Marcus. Crap. Did you call him a savage? Hey, what are you racist? Yeah, go go kill them, beetle. Go kill that racist. Stupid racist, dumber. Savage. Ah, that feels better. Didn't Argonian make this? Yes, he did. Stop asking the same question over and over again. Should I write Argonian Hello on the bottle? Hello. An Argonian savage made this. Shut up, racist. You, you're racist as well. I can tell. An Argonian savage made this. Yep, racist. These people. Wait, I can't jump out of here? Yes, I can. Good. Alright. Uh, I'm going... What is that? Um, oh, spell right. I see. Wrong way. Bros, there's a lava river in your village. Have you noticed? You guys should probably move. There's no iron ore though. That's kind of sad. Alright, where's the spell right? Hey, Garvis. Aren't you afraid? No. Aren't you? The Agonian saved your people. Surprise. Why are you here, stranger? That scale back? I kept my tongue when times were good. But now when the town is weakened, he's suddenly helpful? This is just a trick. No, you're a trick. Because his people have taken my daughter, Movani. She was doing chores for me and now she's disappeared. One of the farmsteaders saw that Argonian walks in ash watching her. Who else could it be? <laughs> there was an eruption. <laughs> Nonsense. We've lived in the shadow of Ash Mountain all our lives. We know its dangers. It was those Argonian savages. Find walks in ash. Then ask that scale back where my daughter is. No, you're racist. Return Morvani to me. Then maybe I'll see what Soft Scale wants. Look for walks in ash in the ruins. The three only know what she's doing. We are in words and treaties. The moot might meet in peace, but we remember what the Argonians were like when we dragged them out of the muck. We know what they really are. 
they they lizards, they lick hist trees. That's what they are. Like I don't know what's wrong with licking hist trees. I thought that was cool. That's the car man's choice, stranger. Without my daughter at my side, I don't give a damn whether some scalebacks are bleeding out in the ash. But it's not it's your people bleeding in the ash. <laughs> what an idiot. Alright, let's go find these people. Actually there's a quest down here. Let's pick this up first. Here, Kwama. Nice Kwama. Um, Kwama did. Your pardon. Have you seen any Kwama around? Maybe west of the town? If you do, I, I don't suppose you could lead them to my mine, could you? Um, yes, when the volcano erupted, my workers got frightened and fled. Now they're attacking anyone who wanders too close. They're usually timid, so a good beating should calm them down. <laughs> okay. Me? Look at me. I'm hurt. Just beat them a little, then blow this whistle. They're trained to return to the mine. Remember, subdue, then use the whistle. If you don't, they'll just start fighting again. I'll be at my mine west of town. I've got to salvage what I can. It's where you get Kwama eggs. You can also get Kwama cuttle, the waxy substance that grows on their beaks. Well, it's a hole in the ground where Kwama live. That's a mine. You didn't think we dug it up like those Nords dig iron, did you? Oh, y yes. I don't know. Potions, I think, or something to fight poison or cleanse water. I never asked. I just harvested. <laughs> cool, bro. Alright, if I see any Kwama, I'll... What is that guy doing? What, what the... Awesome. Cool beta, man. Alright. So the Kwama are there. Oh, there's six. I need to get six of them. Wow, beetles. Why are there so many beetles here? Uh, Kwama squib. Oh, interesting. Do I need to beat it? I thought it was the workers. Hold on, let me just punch it. Oh, hey. It's angry now. Use the whistle. Man, it gets mad. Also, they look really scary now. Cool. Okay, well, we'll buy. Um, so let's go find the Kwama, if I can. And also find... Walks in Ash. He's not in the building, is he? Oh wait, there's a chest. Simple? Oh, let's just try unlocking this. Um... Right. Got it. Homespun Sash of Magicka. Interesting. Achievement? He <laughs> not that heroic. Meaningful progress? A little bit. Significant actions? Kind of enthusiastic? Yeah. Alright. And lockpicking. Haven't we done this before? Controls are intuitive. Yes. Am I skilled? Yes. Improve abilities? Mm, not really. Satisfied? Sure. I mean, loot. How can I not be satisfied with loot? What's going on here? Walks in ash? This is not a good day for Senny, Traveler. Yeah, I, I've noticed. Yes, I am. I heard the cries of the mountain and have come to speak to the earth. Stubborn Gervis would not heed my warning. He blames my people for the darkness of the past. Sees shadows where none exist. As you can see, his daughter is not here. I did see Morvani earlier. The flow of her life takes her to the base of Ash Mountain regularly. The flow of her life? What does that mean? I don't know for certain. Just that I saw her walking west out of town. Find her, then perhaps Gervis will listen to me. If you succeed, use this. A signal. It's colorful, but harmless. If you find Lady Morvani, use it, and I will come to you. Truth falls like a cool rain, carving many channels in the mud. My truth is different from the Dunmers, 
yet both are still true. What does that mean? What does that mean, Walks and Nash? I don't understand what that means. I have no love for them. Do you hate fire for burning down your hut? The fire acts as it must. They saw our huts, and their nature required them to act. I trust a dark elf to act as a dark elf must. Fire doesn't think. Okay, so we have to go... Wow, Mavani's a long way away. So, do I... send these Kwame back? I see you. Yeah, I see you. Get a rock. Whoa, it's doing something. Yeah, use a whistle. Okay, now can I beat this guy? And use the whistle. Use the whistle. Well, there's three. Let's go to uh, Morvani, which is across the lava. That's a... oh, that's a script. Well, let's get this guy too. Hey. And then one more here. That's five out of six. We're almost done. It just walked into the lava. That Kwama just walked into the lava. I don't I don't know about that. There should be one more Kwama around here. I, I need to find one more Kwama around here. I don't see any. Uh, okay, well there's one. Cool. Okay, let's turn this in. Because we can. Where was that guy who was here, wasn't he? Uh, was he here? Um, I can't jump over that. I thought he was... There. Let me just... Scroll the still in water, Morvani. Oh, I have to talk to him at his mine, okay. And then fungal grotto, nope, Kwama nest. Oh hey, iron ore. Morvani. Okay, there, I need to go that way. <laughs> Quest complete. Heroic? I, I've saved six Kwama. I'm effective though. Good reasons, yes. Satisfied, enjoying the game. Care about NPCs? I care about the Kwama. Immersed in the game very much, except the survey is blocked by the button. Ah, uh, let's avoid those beetles. And let's jump across the lava like a crazy person. But look, there's more Kwama here. Uh, actually, it's, he's angry now. Ah, uh, please, no, no, please, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay, fine. You could let me alone. Could okay. Oh, hold the exploit. So if they, if they miss you critically, you can exploit the opening. I should try that next time. What's going on there? Garwin and Doro. Okay, let's avoid that guy. Uh, the mine is that way. Does he need help, this guy? No, he doesn't. There's iron ore, though. It might be rude to take the iron ore from right in front of him. But he's getting attacked. So is he gonna take the iron ore? Or does he does he not want it? I don't wanna be rude and take his stuff. If he's gonna like he's rummaging through his inventory and then Is he is he is he gonna take it? Cause I because I, I wanna take it. Yes he is, alright. I'm just really polite. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Or am I just really, really polite? Alright, so we've found this guy. It is mine. 
Look at all my beautiful Kwama. Their beady little eyes, the gentle pulsing of their abdomens. I can't thank you enough. I'm going to have to get the mine back open, of course. Kwama are very good diggers, you know. Particularly the workers. Kwama Cuttle Shield. 41, adds 40 max stamina. Exploration increases exploration experience by 11%. That's a pretty good shield. So much work to do. I can't let this mine sit idle forever. That's a pretty good shield, bro. Alright, I'm gonna use a Kwama Shield. And, okay. Morvani is down. What on earth is that thing? Ah, uh, she's in trouble, isn't she? She probably did this. What's she doing? Something in danger? What could you possibly be doing here? It's like a sh no, it's a shrine. Someone came. Did father send you? I fell and twisted something. Damn, my ankle. Are you mocking me? Yes, of course I am. I'm trapped by lava flows and flaming shorks and I can't walk. If I ever get home, I'm gonna drink a whole jar of Sujama. Maybe you shouldn't drink a whole jar of Sujama. This was a shrine to the three. I come out here to pray for mother. She was taken from us a few years ago. She was the sweetest woman I've ever known. Some days I swear I can still hear her voice. Anyway, I was out here when the eruption began. Of course he is, the overprotective Gua. Since we lost mother, he's tried to run my life for me. I think I'll need two bottles of Sujama when I get home. Forget what father says. Maybe you shouldn't drink so much. You signal. Wait, is that the signal? Gervis is hatchling? Good. Uh, I caught bloody hell. Wait, really? Morvani, are you Lord, Mother, and Wizard? Are you all right? I'm going to be fine, Father. Thanks to this traveler. Can we get me off of this rock now? Hold on, Morvani. I've got you. Well, we're missing some animations. What is he? Whoa! Hey, can you teleport me over as well? Or do I have to jump myself? Ow, I walked into it. Wow, he just teleported her. Cool. Nice spell, bro. Traveler, you... You found my daughter. In the midst of all this, you found my Morvani. The Argonian helped you find her. Pa! Self-interest and cunning, I'm sure. I'm grateful, just the same. Movani means the world to me, ever since her mother was taken from us. They have beastly, baser urges. It makes them hard to trust. When the swamp calls to them, they rise up against their neighbors and strike them down. Even the kindest, the most gentle, are not spared from their wrath. Well, there's the hist tree, so I guess there's that. It was before the signing of the pact. The Argonians of Seni still served my neighbors as slaves. Several of them made a break for freedom, and my Rainisi. She was just out for a stroll. <clears throat> but today Morvani lives, thanks to you. Well, maybe you shouldn't keep them as slaves, you know? They're lizards, they're unpredictable. Why would you want slaves like that? Yes, well, <clears throat> I thank you for all you've done here today, Traveler. My daughter is safe, and I must reluctantly admit that the Argonian may have played a part. May Lord, Mother, and Wizard all guard you on your journey. Right. Well, unfortunately, the Liggings is medium armor, so I can't use that. So I'm gonna take a break now, and then... When we come back, we'll continue doing whatever it is we're doing out here.
in the middle of a volcano. Interesting. Join the game, care about NPCs, yeah, immersed in the game. This button needs to be fixed. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. I really like Agonians. <laughs>